Alright, so we're back with days 10 to 12 of Best of Super Juniors. <clears throat> and this is, this is a good show from uh, New Japan. <clears throat> then we have, so tomorrow, hopefully, if not tomorrow, then Tuesday I'll do the last two days of the tournament. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed each of the tournaments. So, day 10, we start off with Marty Squirrel defeating Dragon Lee. We have Squirrel, Squirrel using his technical style up against Dragon Lee's Lucha High Flying style. It's a pretty good match between these two. I would have liked to have seen Dragon Lee get a little bit more offense in, though. But, in it, he had some pretty good back and forth, but... He had Marty Scroll ended up winning with the crossface chicken wing. So he could get so he could tie Dragon Lee in terms of points on the board. After that you had Ryusuke Taguchi defeat Sho. This was a solid match. Yeah you had some over some comedy in there. We had one moment you had Sho firing some invisible arrows, but then Taguchi's like dodging it's some dumb shit. Yeah, Taguchi working over the leg of Sho for the ankle lock. Although he ended up winning with his uh <clears throat> with his finisher, I can't remember what it's called, where uh it's like like he's about to do like a half and half suplex, but he kinda just kinda just plants him to the plants him face down, so that that match, it was solid, nothing special. You had Hiromu Takahashi defeating Chris Sabin with the triangle choke again. Surprising to see Hiromu Takahashi winning with the tri triangle choke. That's pretty pretty cool that he's winning with submission. <laughs> yeah, he would... Because I didn't think he was going to win with that. I figured he'd win with the time bomb, but... There, for this tournament, he's using the triangle choke as a primary submission. I don't know if he's gonna, but uh, I remember earlier today I saw on Instagram that uh, I kind of spoiled myself. So I know that uh, Hiromu Takahashi and Taji Ishimori they're gonna fight each other in the finals. So let's see if uh, Takahashi's gonna win or if Ishimori wins. Either way, that's gonna be a pretty good match. But back to day 10. <clears throat> Takahashi Saban had some pretty good back and forth. And Saban showing Saban being the cool baby face and then Takahashi being the heel. Takahashi Senton was pretty cool. Saban had a nice missile drop kick. Tried to go for the Cradle Shock a few times. I think he went hit the Cradle Shock once, but Takahashi ended up kicking out. And then Takahashi just choked him out with the Triangle Choke. So then after that, you get Kushida and El Desperado. That was a really good match. Desperado trying to find any way he could win. Getting the jump on Kushida. He was working over the leg. So we could have his uh, finisher where he kind of puts his opponent's leg over his head. I can't remember the name of the submission. But yeah, Kushida would go after the arm so he could hit the hoverboard lock. <clears throat> like his handspring elbow was pretty good. Desperado's... I remember, I think it was double knee gut buster. Was it a double knee gut buster? But kind of rushing through this, but anyway... Get back and forth. Desperado tried to tried to low blow Kushida multiple times. Tried to low blow him and get the pin, but Kushida kicked out of two, and then Kushida ended up hitting his fisherman brainbuster into a cradle for the three count. Thought that was the best match on the card. So overall, that overall I give this one a seven out of ten. Yeah. It's good, just not great. <clears throat> then you get uh, 
That's the Super Juniors Day 11 back to the A block. Bushi defeating Phil Gordon. Solid match. <clears throat> Nothing. They didn't really do anything to really excite me too much. Bushi was just there. Gordon was pretty good. <laughs> Bushi suicide dive was nice. Yeah, flip try doing his usual thing, like his double jump, topic on Hilo. His springboard super kick. Bushi did a regular MX. Gordon kicked out at two. Then he did this MX from the second rope to get the three count. Then you had Taiji Ishimori defeating ACH where they were telling a story about how ACH and Ishimori, they used to be partners and they were teaming last year because I saw some of that, I saw some of their stuff last year so, or was it the year before as well? They were teaming like last year and the year before I believe and uh, <clears throat> Ishimori was kind of working over ACH's shoulder a little bit. Ishimori's springboard, springboard senton was pretty good. ACH trying to do 450 multiple times throughout the match, but he would miss. One point, Ishimori would move out the way, but if he didn't move out the way, the, the second time he got his knees up. I liked uh, Ishimori's baseball slide German suplex. I really liked that move. And you had ACH... Where he's doing, where he does like an STO backbreaker into a German. That's pretty good. And Ishimori ends up hitting the bloody cross for the win. Yeah, Will Ospreay and Tiger match. Pretty good match. <clears throat> yeah, had a Tiger match throughout the match, working over the head and neck area of Osprey. And Osprey was really selling the hell out of it. Because at one point, yeah, because it started when Tiger Mask hit that sick tombstone pile driver. And Osprey just, like, he, credit to Osprey, he really sold, he really did a hell of a job selling that. And he would work out, work over the neck throughout the match. And Osprey, he would sell it at different points when he tried to do, like, when he was going to do like his drop kick in the corner while Tiger Mask was sitting in the corner and he was like running to the turnbuckle to get some momentum he started selling really liked Will Ospreay's super kicks liked his uh, handspring and Siguri and then he ended up doing that finisher. I can't remember what it's called. I got to look it up sometime. I'll try to look that up where he kind of just has him in a... Has both of his opponent's arms hooked. And then he kind of just lifts him up. And then he does a corkscrew neck breaker. Got, got the win. And then after the match, Tiger Mask and Osprey shook hands. Sign of respect. Then you had Yo defeating... Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Kanemaru was doing his usual thing. Just attacking before the match. Trying to get ahead. Yo was pretty good. Yo was a pretty good wrestler. I really liked seeing him in the ring. Where uh. Like his Tope on Hilo. I enjoyed the way. The way he just. Used, does his super kicks. Pretty cool. Like when uh. He gets clotheslined or something. And it looks like he's about to go out the ring, but then he kind of rebounds, does a rebound super kick. Really like that move. And I liked his reverse STO, rest STO and neck breaker combination. Kanemaru dragging. I like when Kanemaru was dragging him, like slumped him across the apron, and then he just does a running drop kick. And you had Kanemaru go for his usual spot, like towards the end of the match when the ref isn't looking. Takes some of his booze, drinks it, spits in Yo's face. He tried to hit a brain buster. Hit a brain buster. Yo kicked out at two. Then he did like a DDT from the second rope. Yo was able to kick out at two. 
and then Yo was able to get the win from a bridging pin. Pretty good main event, although I think ACH and Taiji Ishimori should have been the main event. Yeah, with these with these shows like New Japan, they haven't really been. They got matches that should be main events, but they're not. They're either like at the beginning of the or the middle of the card. But I give this show a seven out of ten. And I've yet to see day thirteen, which I'm about to do after this video. You have at this point with the standings. Oh, I forgot the stand. Yeah, actually no. I'm gonna update the standings with day twelve. But uh, a block. You have Will Osprey with eight points, as well as Taiji Ishimori. Tied for six points is Flip Gordon, Yo, Bushi, and Tiger Mask. And then ACH and Yoshinobu Kanemaru were tied at 12. Actually, tied at 4 points. Steiner line. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, on to day 12 to the B block. We have Chris Saban defeating El Desperado. Desperado attacked him from behind. As Saban was making his way to the ring. Just throwing him to chairs at... He was just throwing him into the crowd. And I, yeah, oh, oh, something I forgot when he was first, when uh, El Desperado was wrestling Kushida was, uh, I just remember the spot where uh, <laughs> he was working over Kushida's leg. And he puts him, he, they were in the crowd. And he puts him in a cart. And he rams him into this row of chairs. That's another spot I forgot about on day 10. But back to day 12. But uh, Desperado was doing his thing, trying to find any way to win. Saban enjoyed his stuff. Like when he does that kick when he's on the apron. Well, he's about to do a plancha, but Desperado would get out the way. But then Saban's on the rape apron, and he just does a running penalty kick. Like that combination. <laughs> I enjoyed Desperado. Desperado's drop kick. Pretty not too much happened in this match. So but overall Saban ended up hitting the cradle shock to get up pick up the three count. So I give this one 3.5 out of 5. Pretty good match. Yeah, Marty Scroll defeating Ryusuke Taguchi. You had some comedy there. Where uh Taguchi was trying to mimic Scroll, and Scroll's like, okay, dude, stop trying to steal my shit. But the match started getting serious. Taguchi looked like he, he had Scroll ready to tap out with the ankle lock at a few points, but uh, Scroll ended up making Taguchi tap with the crossface chicken wing. Wait a minute, I think I might be getting my match mixed up. I think it was. I watched it last night. Yeah, I watched that match last night, so... And I was pretty tired, so... Memory was a little blurry, but I remember Scroll getting the win. Yeah, Hiromu Takahashi defeating Sho. This was a really good match. <laughs> Where Takahashi, he was shaking Yos... Show's hand and stuff. Kind of trolling. She's just like, uh, what are you doing? And Takahashi was pretty much trolling. I liked his, uh, sent on off the top rope. Liked his Death Valley driver. I enjoyed Show. Like, Show, he's pretty dope. And he's still a little green in the ring, but a few years from now, I think Show could be a great wrestler. Slur. Takahashi, you already know how good he is. Thank God he dropped that stupid shit with Daryl with the entrance, though. But I digress. He got another. Takahashi ended up picking up the win with the triangle choke again. So. Probably. 
that was the second best match on the card. And then we had Kushida and Dragon Lee. These guys were really going back and forth. Dragon Lee with his topic on Hilo. I liked Kushida's senton off the top rope. Kushida would often was working on the arm of Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee had his lucha offense, his tornado DDT, Hurricane Rana. Kushida, his backspring, his handspring back elbow was good. Really liked his Pele kick. And there's one point where they both did like a close fist at each other, knocking each other out. That was really good to see. But ultimately, Kushida ended up picking up the win with his uh, fisherman brain bruster into the cradle. Cradle, and that was it for day 12. I'd say this was the best show out of the three. Give it a 7.5 out of 10. So overall... I'd say like 7 out of 10 overall with three shows. Good. Day 12 kind of starts to pick it up. So hopefully day 13 will be great. And 14, let's see what happens with the f finale. Let's see, probably watch most of it before I get ready for work since it's going to be live. So yeah, but oh, the standings for B Block. Yeah, Kushida with 8 points, Marty Skrull with 8, and Hiromu Takahashi with 8. With 6 points, you had Dragon Lee and Chris Saban. And then you have Sho, Ed Desperado, and Ryusuke Taguchi tied for 4 points. So, Taguchi's not going to the finals. Thank God. So, that was it for days 10 through 12. Hope you enjoyed, and... Hopefully, either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll be back to talk to you guys about the last two days of the tournament. Have a great day. Peace.